Okay, we're just going to have a look at how to create an assembly drawing, uh, an, assemb uh, an assembly non shape. I would recommend going through the assembly tutorial, it's massively helpful uh, before you move on to this step. So, you know, pause the video, go do the assembly tutorial in the Learning Center. Yeah, hit the Learning Center button just there. Yeah, learning Center, hit the Learning Center button, go to the Learning Center, do the assembly tutorial, please do the exercises because it does explain things very nicely. Um, so I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this video as you've already gone and done the tutorial. Um, but, you know, so we go to the plus button, we say create assembly. Uh, and as you can see, that's what I've done there. And go up to insert. Then we'll have our parts from our part studios. So I'm just going to uh, do two parts for you here. Um, so I'm just going to place that there. And... Let's just bring in a movable jaw as well. Okay, so we're going to say tick. Okay, so yeah. So we're going to just make these two parts together. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need a fixed base. We need something that doesn't move. And obviously that's going to be the, the, the vice body. So we're just going to click that there, he says. And we go to the circle there. Can you see that highlighted? And if we right click, it says move to origin. So we'll move that to the origin. Okay, and then we can right click again, and down here it says fix. So we fix that in position now, so we can't move that. Can you see as I'm trying to, well, you, you can't see, but you, I, I'm trying to move it around, and can you see we've got a little symbol just there uh, that says, no, this is fixed, you can't move it. Okay, so that means that, you know, everything else will move in relation to the body, and the body won't, won't move about. So what we want then is we want to place this in there, and we want to, want to be able to slide it, backwards and forwards okay so we need to be think about how things fit together so at the top here we've got different make connectors and they specify how things move in relation to each other so this needs to slide so let's use a slider mate okay now on shape uh, works a bit differently to other 3d packages you might have used uh, in that it automatically guesses for you make points so whereas in in other uh, 3D packages you might make faces on here you, you make points and what we want is we want you to be able to slide and you can see we've got an axis there we've got the um, green and red lines which are horizontal and vertical axes and then we've got the blue line which is our z axis our depth axis um, and you can see and that, that's going to be the direction it slides in. it's going to slide in that z axis so you know if we pick that face it's going to slide in, in the wrong direction. So what we need to do is we need to move in and we need to pick an edge. And if we just hold down shift on our keyboard, then when we move our mouse around again, uh, you'll see it doesn't select anything else. Okay. So I'm just going to click now and that's going to select uh, that that main surface there. Yeah, you can see, uh, hopefully you can see that we, that's just faintly highlighted. All right. So then we're going to move over to the other part. And obviously that's going to be this edge here. Uh, so we just move our mouse around until it, it picks the edge for us. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift and then we want the middle one. You know, again, it gives us options, three options. And we can, you know, if, if you want to, you can define a mate yourself as well. But we're, we're just going to go with the default there. Um, and then we can press, um, we can say, uh, oops, we can spin it around like that. That's exciting. Uh, there we are, we can press play up here, and there you are, and we can see it in action. Um, and it, as you can see, it, it's, it sort of slides through the part, it, it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't sort of stop. Um, so what you can do is then you can set uh, limits um, that will, you know, for, for how far it can travel to make it look more realistic. So you can set that. You don't have to do that. Uh, but it just makes the entire thing a bit nicer. Um, so, you know, like I say, hopefully you've done the on-shape tutorials, um, and that's just kind of uh, consolidated what you've learned there. Uh, so the next thing that we then have to do is we've got to do an assembly drawing. Uh, and again, you know, I, th I think the assembly tutorial uh, by on-shape covers this, but I'll just go through it um, very quickly, create a drawing. Now, you remember doing the uh, A3 drawing border, yeah, not an ANSI, not an American National Standards Institute border because we're not American, ISO International Standards. Okay, um, yeah, and you'll remember that doing the um, assembly drawing in AutoCAD was 
you know, it was, it was hard work, wasn't it? It was hard work. You'll be pleased to know that in Onshape, it is just as difficult. Yeah, it, it, it's so difficult. Got to wait for it to load for a start. Right, so what do we do? Okay, create part or assembly. Um, so I'm going to bring in the uh, vice body. Okay, there's our vice body. No, I don't want that, do I? No, no, no. Let's try that again. Insert. Right, I want um, part studio. So I don't want part studio. I want an assembly. There we are. Woo, nearly got caught out there. So we're just going to do assembly one, which I've just done for you as, as a quick example. So we're going to bring that in. He says. Still thinking about it. Okay, so that's the front view. Now, again, we have to choose our views carefully. I'd suggest that you know if the assembly drawing shows how things go together, we'd want the view with 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 the with the twiddly bar and things on, you know, the T bar. Okay, so that was the front view. So let's go for the back view and see see if that's that's more of a view that we want. Just thinking about it again. Here we go. Here we go. We'll just get a little preview in a second. Bum, 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 bum. Dee -dee. There we are. Yeah. So we can see we, we've got we've got the front view there. We've, we've got the hole. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, if we were doing the full assembly drawing, then we'd want uh, we'd want that front part. Yeah. Let's just show you that. It's a bit slow, isn't it? I blame my internet connection. Hmm. Okay, let's let's leave that uh, let's leave that going, and we'll 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 get back to our drawing here. So, just like when we're doing parts drawings, we can we can drag you know left and right, and it'll it'll do a projection. We don't want to do. A projection. What we want to do is a section view because we want to see what's going on behind. Yeah. So you know, because just looking at a view like that, we can't really see, or indeed just looking at a view like that on the right, we can't really we can't see what's happening with that screw at all. We can't see how it fits together, can we? So what we need is a section view. Okay. So we're just going to peel. Yeah, you can see we're just cutting, slicing through it. Yeah, so we're going to have a section view about halfway, so that we can see. I'm just going to say tick there, so we can see exactly what's going on. Yeah, and we can see how the part fits together. Yeah, there's our screw thread just there. There's our screw thread here. There's our hole in the middle, and and we can see. How we've got together, and you can see we've got cross hatching on the parts that we've actually sliced through, and there's no cross hatching on this hole because you know there's no surface that we've that we've cut. Yeah, just like there's no cr cross hatching here and here because that's where yeah it steps away there. Okay, so we want this view in our drawing. Okay, and you remember it took some some time to do in in AutoCAD, uh, but all we have to do here. As we go to this button here that says section view, we can literally just pick the center of the circle. We move over to here, click our mouse button, and we wait a moment or two. And that's it. That's our section view. How good is that? Um, the other thing that we had to do in AutoCAD was we had to um, number the parts. So we have to do that as well. And that's just at the top here, the call out. Okay. So all we have to do is, yeah, part one. He says. Yeah. Okay. Is that going to do that for me? No, that's not going to do that for me. What's going on there here? Yes, table, item number. Do we have to create the table first? Maybe we do. Okay, so that's that's part numbers for us. 
Um, but it says table number. So we also had to put a parts list in, didn't we? We did. We did. So let's let's do that. Um, is that what we want? Table? No, that's not what we want. There we are. Bill of materials. That's what we want. We want a parts list of bill of materials. We want to know what's involved. Yeah, so let's make a bill of materials. Um, specify fixed corner. And we just click. We just pause. Okay, so, um, and you can see we've brought that in. And in each part, we have to give it a, a name and a part number, but it will it will fill it in for us. We just you know press the bomb button, stick it in the corner, and it fills it all in for us. Um, and oops, a daisy. Let me just actually do a whole call out to uh, to the second part, and you'll see that that is he says, yeah, shows it there. Number two. There we go. So it will automatically number, set the numbers to how they appear in the table. And I think you'll agree that that is much easier. Um, so just, um, let's just, to sort of finish that off as a, as a full, um, a full tutorial. Um, what we do, if you go to the part name here, yours might say part one, you might not have renamed it. Um, then we can go to properties and we can set the name, the description, yeah, the part number, the revision number, and that's the information that gets pulled through to the assembly drawing that you saw there. So that's just a right click. Um, you can also right click and assign a material which those of you who've read the uh, assignment will remember is an essential part. You need to assign materials to all your parts. Um, so if you just do click there and then just type steel, um, then just pick carbon steel, um, you know, unless it's something different, uh, that's fine by me as well. So you assign a material to each part. Uh, that hopefully should be everything we need to know. But of course, you know, you don't need this video because you've all done the uh, assembly tutorials, haven't you? Excellent. Thank you very much. Bye.